Vulcan landing pad. Weiss, well I believe this family drama could be greater than mine. Ruby, I wonder why was John so mad at Uncle Crow? Young, you heard bro Rubes. I think we need to talk to Dad about what really happened with my mother. Young, why did he look sad for a moment? Later in Ashpin's office. Ashpin, what pray tell were you doing, Crow? Crow, all I did was tell the specialist the truth that I think of Atlas. Winter, I almost tried smacking the man if this young boy intervened. The circle looked at John. John just shrugged. John, one way to deal with a drunkard. Ironwood, and who are you? Jeune, jeune Bronwen, sir. Ironwood, another brand one? Ironwood gave Ashpin a look and Ashpin just motioned later. Ashpin, well it's about time for an emergency meeting. Ironwood, Specialist Schnee, you're dismissed. Winter salutes then leaves. Ironwood, Mr. Branwood. He was cut off but Ashpin. Ashpin. Please stay, it's about time to address the obvious, well at least to me. The circle looked confused. John, about what? Ashpin, every time you trained every combat class, I was watching the whole thing. And I found out something surprising. Then a red portal opened in the office. And a woman with long black hair came through. Raven Ashpin. Ashpin Raven. What a surprise. Raven, are you trying to recruit my son into your war now? Ashpin, actually, no. I'm just shocked that the boy has been using magic this whole time. Ironwood, Glinda and Crow's eyes widen like dinner plates. Raven's eyes narrow. Ashpin, I wonder why does he have it, due to the whole of Remnant was wiped clean of magic users, besides the maidens. John, you use magic as well, old wizard. They all look to John his eyes glowing red. John, remember you didn't give those maidens a choice, you deluded them into fighting a battle they couldn't win alone. Life is not a chess game, you use people as pawns instead of making allies. Your way is not working. Ashpin, I see, I'm just trying. John, no headmaster, that's your problem you're trying. Do or do not, there is no such thing as try. You can't face the world half-heartedly. The circle look on in surprise. Ashpin just smiled knowing he needed someone to remind him. He then remembered the days when he was the king of Vale and his advisor. John somewhat reminded him of the man. Ashpin, I guess you're right, a Chang in tactics would be better. Thank you, young man. Ironwood, Ashpin, if he can use magic, maybe we can get a blood sample, see if we can replicate his abilities. Then a blade went near his neck. Looking at Raven who had a fierce glare. Raven, Touch my son and your death will be the least of your worries. Crow, never thought you would be overprotective. Then a sword was pointed toward his eye.
John, you insult her. Prepare to lose an eye. Glinda, okay, now please calm down you too. Ashpin, James, that idea of yours is wrong. Magic cannot be created in a lab. And Crow, please don't be you when these two are around. Crow just shut up and drinks from his flask. Ironwood backed off. Ashpin, Raven, you're welcome here if you wish to check on your children. Raven just turned and opened another portal. Raven, stay safe, John. The she disappears. Ashpin, well back on topic, Mr. Bran, when you are excused, sorry for troubling you with adult affairs. John bowed and left. A few hours later, he found Yang sitting on the fountain in the courtyard. Jauna, cease? Yang looked at John. Yang, I heard what you said at the launch pad. John remained silent. Yang, your real family never cared for you? John, that's why I ran away. The only one who ever cared was this stranger I met on my journey. Yang knew who it was. John, she became like a mother to me. I only had her. You still have your father and sister, but if I never met her, I had nothing. Yang su din li hu ni. If Raven never left, if she never found John, maybe he could have died. Alone in the world. John then stopped the embrace and nodded for Yang to look behind her. She saw a woman who looked like her. John nudged her to go. Yang approached Raven and asked one question. Yang? Why? Raven urged her to continue. Yang, why did you leave? She asked with tears in her eyes. Raven, because of all the lies. Yang looked at her and she was shocked to see Raven who was stoic at first now in tears. Raven, when I met my team, I was hesitant at first to make a connection. It felt like a weakness. But my time in Beacon was sad, no one tried to even speak to me. When Summer urged me to socialize, I did do it. But everyone avoided me like a plague. The only people I ever had was my team, then one day Ty professed his love to me. And me who with the benefit of the doubt, tried to form that bond. The years that followed were the best years of my life. Then I married him and then I had you. When you were born you always cried in my arms. But when someone else held you, you were okay. I thought I was being paranoid. Until I tried it, you cried in my arms again. And when I asked Summer to hold you, you stopped and looked at her and began giggling. My heart ached at that moment. When I thought I've experienced the worst pain. I found out from a conversation Ty had with Crow. He? He? Raven began trembling. Then she felt a hand on her shoulder. She looked to see it was John trying to comfort her. She righted herself and continues. Raven, Ty loved me out of pity. Yang was shocked at the truth, that's why. Raven, that's why I left, there was no love in that house for me. 
I don't expect you to forgive me, I just wanted you to understand. She turned to leave, but spared on more glance at Yang. Raven, I may have left, but I still cared. She then turned into a bird and left. Yang was shocked to see her transform into a real raven, but something hit her. She remembered the times when she grew up there was always a raven looking at her. Yang, then that bird that was always. She remembered a raven when she went into the woods with Ruby. Yang, it wasn't Crow who saved us, it was. Crow just found them, the one who killed the Grim was Raven. Yang began tearing up. Yang, she was always, she was, uh, there. She cried as John gave her his shoulder and she hugged him crying into the night. Raven cares she just doesn't show it too much.